So I've been playing around with the OLEDs, particularly for the display on the Rumbarduino. So I thought I'd do a quick demonstration of something that I've put together which enables me to use more than one OLED at once. Now these little devices have four pins and two are for power and two are for signal and the uh, interface that they use is I2C which is one data line and one clock line. And each device on the I2C bus can have a, an address between 0 and 255. Some of the addresses are actually reserved but the way these devices are set up is that there is a resistor that determines which address that these devices currently use. Now if I buy a group of them, uh, they will all come with the same address and because these are soldered resistors it's very difficult to change the address so we have to use something that's a little clever. And the way that we're actually going to do this is we have a multiplexer. So the microcontroller here uses three pins to the multiplexer to determine which output pin from the multiplexer is going to be the signal. And what we have is two OLEDs, and I'll plug this second one in. We have two OLEDs that both have the same address, but we have the clock line which is shared between all the devices, and then the data line will switch depending on how the multiplexer actually um, indicates which output pin to use. Now on the right here I've got a little board which is showing when we're switching between displays. So the microcontroller is going to send a number to each screen and it's going to swap between the two displays and we should see that the number changes on each of these displays. So I'll just plug it in now. And hopefully you should be able to see the display changing. If I zoom in a little here, so this is an OLED with the same address, or two OLEDs with the same address, but the multiplexer is changing which one receives the data, and you can see that it's updating each display as it goes along.